Not many people realize it, but we have already entered the new era of the space race. Last time, it was the Soviet Union that drove the US to land the first humans on the moon. This time it is more than just one nation, and the stakes are higher than ever before. A little history lesson first. On 4th of October 1957, the Soviet Union launched the very first satellite into space, Sputnik 1. This achievement shocked the American people, and the government. Four years later, the Soviets sent the very first human into space, Yuri Gagarin. This was a humiliating moment for the Americans, in the middle of an ongoing Cold War. The only face saver for them was to land a human on the moon before the Soviets. Less than a year after the launch of Sputnik 1, the US government founded NASA with an aim to dominate space. When the US landed on the moon in 1969, not only they beat the Soviets, but also achieved space superiority. 53 years have passed, and NASA is once again scrambling to send humans on the moon. Why you might ask? Well, because the two big rivals of the United States, China and Russia are teaming up to do what the Soviets couldn't. Back in November 2017, China and Russia signed an agreement on cooperative lunar and deep space exploration. In areas such as covering lunar and deep space, joint spacecraft development, space electronics, Earth remote sensing data, and space debris monitoring. Just four years later, their cooperation has increased tenfold. In 2021, China and Russia have announced that they will be building a moon base together. As a competitor to the American Artemis program, they announced their own lunar base program, International Lunar Research Station, ILRS. But there is one difference between 1969 and today. Today, NASA can't just land on the moon and call it a victory. They must stay, and prepare for the final phase of this space race. To land the first humans on Mars.